Joey Galloway is joining us this morning here on Get Up to talk about the national championship, which is almost here. And we all know, we all know, Joey, that Bryce Young torched Georgia a month ago. 421 yards through the air. That offensive line didn't give up a single sack. They hadn't done that all year. What do you expect this time around from Bryce? I expect Bryce Young to be pretty good. He's the Heisman Trophy winner. Uh, and, and the problem you guys had was you let him get comfortable. I mean, after watching Alabama play Auburn uh, the week before, mm -hmm. and the way Auburn's defensive line got after Bryce Young, everyone assumed that Georgia would do the same thing. For some strange reason, I don't know why when you watch the film, it just did not look like the same Georgia defense that we had seen all season long. Give credit to Alabama's offensive line. They did a really nice job. I don't know that they can protect Bryce Young the way they did the first time around, but if they do, I expect Bryce Young to have another big game. It's just, it, was, it just seemed nonsensical, right? Auburn, they give up seven sacks against Auburn, none against Georgia, despite the fact that Georgia brought pressure over 20% of the time. We'll certainly see. One of the other big issues for Georgia in that SEC championship was their quarterback, Stetson Bennett, who yet again in a big opportunity did not come through for them. He did have a big bounce back game in the Orange Bowl. So what do you expect from him on Monday? There's been a lot of conversation all season long whether Stetson Bennett should be the starter or JT Daniels. I don't understand why that's even a conversation. Stetson Bennett has played very well this season. And before the SEC championship game, had only thrown five interceptions, had two in that game. When you watch the film, he was doing some things that were uncharacteristic. Uh, throwing the ball in, into some double coverage, taking some chances he didn't have to take. But it really was the first time all season long that Georgia's playing from behind and in a situation where they needed their offense to bring them back to win a football game. And that's the first time we'd seen Georgia play like that this season. And so in the game against Michigan, he looked like the Stetson Bennett we expected to see. 300 yards passing, looked comfortable. Their defense was playing well, which is how their team is built. And so when he can play that kind of football, when he has a great defense, they're physical, they're running the ball, he's a really good quarterback. I expect him to try to get back to that style against Alabama, and I expect Stetson Bennett to play much better than he, than he did in the SEC championship game. You're right, probably a little bit unfair. The, the chicken little crowd, sky is falling crowd came out. It was just, I think, the flashback of the SEC championship last year where he threw, what, three interceptions. Then for him to, to yeah. follow that up with a similarly bad performance was tough. But again, a big bounce back for him, and he's certainly feeling himself right now. Speaking of feeling himself. Uh, let's talk about Jim Harbaugh, right? The playoff coach that ended up being eliminated. There are reports that he's potentially floating an idea of going back to the NFL. How do you think he'd make that fit? How do you think he'd fit back at the major level? I think I think he would be fine. These kind of rumors are always interesting to me. Uh, and, and L, if you could do me a favor, when it's time for me to get a contract, can you leak some information that I might be going <laughs> somewhere else? Right. So, so that someone gives me more money? Right. It, it, it works out every time for these coaches where you start to hear rumors that they're going somewhere and then the job that they're at ponies up a lot of money to keep them there. Now, I think Coach Harbaugh could go back to the NFL, and I think he would be successful. I think he was really good with the 49ers uh, before coming to Michigan. But it's always interesting to me how these rumors happen when a guy is trying to get a, a new contract. He took a pay cut last yep. season. So what's the best way to get your money back? Leak that your name is going to, to other jobs connected to NFL jobs. We'll see what happens. But I think Jim Harbaugh will stay at Michigan. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.